Massive game. Massive game. Uh, and it tells you everything because Alex is not wearing Dortmund uh, colours. Dortmund plus 125. Stuttgart plus 185. Stuttgart, one of the strongest sides in um, in Germany as we speak. And Stuttgart to score twice is minus 108. Dortmund, you, they're an enigma. They are the German enigma. We do not have a clue what we're going to get from them. The draw is at plus 300. The old Desmond must be a runner here at 2-2, which brings in the over 3.25 at minus 118. Alex, you're the Dortmund fan. Why have you got no Dortmund shirt on? <laughs> dry cleaning. <laughs> dry cleaning. Do you dry clean your football shirts? Do you not just stick, no. like, stick them in the washing machine? No, no, only stick them in the washing machine. And uh, also my wife is also very careful with them, you know, the smooth uh, the programs, not to not to not to have anything uh, broken, you know, because after that it will be a mess in the house. Uh, you don't mess with my football T-shirts, you know. Um, this is an interesting one. And uh, and it's it's all about that Dortmund mentality where, OK, they are in a direct fight with Leipzig uh, for a, for the Champions League spot, right? Yes, they are. Uh, they are three points uh, above them, so they have the power. They have. They could drop points. To be honest here, they could drop at least two points, and nothing. It will be no harm. Uh, I think that uh, the Atletico Madrid. Every everybody will think about that match against Atletico Madrid. Stuttgart, right now. Third place in the standings, a Champions League position, is once in a lifetime for them. These guys are performing at the highest of their powers uh, this season, right? And uh, it was crazy to see them uh, dropping uh, two points last week and uh, dropping two points with the last goal in the last minutes of the game, in the 98th minute, with Undav scoring again. And Undav Jurassic. Uh, both of them played last week and both of them scored. Who was it against, Alex, that they dropped points? Uh, against Haydn. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Another coupon buster. <laughs> uh, yeah, so Dortmund. You, you know that we always say who beats Bayer this week, next week they will have a problem mentally, you know, and they might drop points no matter whom they are playing against. It happened many, many times in the last four or five seasons that we are doing these shows uh, uh, each, each season. So I think that the Stuttgart is a value bet here. I wouldn't touch them at um, plus uh, uh, 185, but I have them uh, at uh, plus uh, uh, 0.25 on the Asian handicap at, at minus 115, and I have them to score two goals on their own at minus 108. You, hold on a minute. So you have them at plus 0 0.25. So you have both a uh, quarter of a goal. So basically, if it's a draw, you get like a, a half win. Is that right? Half win, yes. Okay, and you've got them to score twice? Yes, at minus 108. Okay, so it's a Dortmund fan expecting Dortmund to let in two stinch. Now, let's go on the other side of the coin because all of a sudden, are we not looking at Dortmund to score twice as well instead of... Are we looking at a 2-2 draw? Because 2-2 draw is going to be like plus 1,100. I'm, I'm struggling to get... Well, like, I'm struggling to get I'm a lot of teams right this season. I'm struggling to get Dortmund Every right team, this season. Every team, not a lot. Everyone. <laughs> <laughs> um, but ju just uh, just quickly, uh, Alex is saying it might be like quite historical for, for Dortmund. They actually won the won the Bundesliga, I think, five times. And uh, they the last time they won it was 06, 07. And I just had a quick look at the league table back then. Absolutely incredible reading. Stuttgart won it. Schalke came second and Werder Bremen came third. Bayern Munich won in, in, in the top three. Absolutely. You know, I thought Dortmund won it last year, Stinch. <laughs> <laughs> Don't upset him. That's not fair. He's no, I, I'm used to I'm used to it. If if it was uh, July last year, yeah, I would be very upset right now. But it's uh, <laughs> April 2024, so I know it's nice I that I dropped it. it huh? Nice. I've I let got it go. over it. I got over it, <laughs> and uh, you will see how Liverpool will win the Premier League, and we'll always uh, we will all be happy. Flash. Wow. 
Wow, that would be a real knife. Uh, let's go, but let's not, let's not digress on such negativity. Um, <laughs> I, I think that both teams could score twice here because one thing about Stuttgart is they score goals. The other thing about Stuttgart is that uh, they let goals in. And the, the problem I've got is Dortmund, the home side. They can keep clean sheets now, even when they're completely dominated. Let's take the Champions League performance against the Dutch side. They were battered, and yet they won 1-0. It's like, what is goal? Well, they won 2 0. I think they scored a late goal as well. So, again, how do they get by a stinch of being so dross at the back and yet keep yeah, the sheets? It, it, I think it's basically the result of football being a low margin game and, yeah. and the fact that you only need one goal to score. And on average, we only see three goals despite the fact that we see 90 minutes of football. Dortmund has just been on the right side of, of, of those fine margins. And there's not nothing necessarily wrong with that because they do have above average players, so they are able to do that. But if they want to above ensure, <laughs> well, <Wow. laughs> they got a few, I think. <laughs> Alex is the expert. I love that goal. No leaders. They, they, just, they just got no. Uh, <laughs> they just got no leaders uh, whatsoever. I mean, and, and the thing is, we've got to mention that obviously they go to Atletico uh, Madrid. Yes. Wow, and they got and they and they will uh, they will come empty-handed. What a Dortmund yeah, fan! Yeah, but again, again, this is another. I yeah, agree I'm, with you, I'm right? A, no, I'm a Dortmund I think you're fan. Right. I'm I'm a I'm a Dortmund fan, but I'm uh, realistic. You know, I'm not that uh, guy that is saying, uh, "Okay, we'll win everything. We'll go to the Champions League final and win it." Uh, I don't know. We are fourth in the Bundesliga and we'll win the title. No, it's uh, Dortmund needs a change as as. As Bayern is the change in uh, in personnel, I think that uh, we will see a lot of movement at the end of the season, and hopefully, a new coach. Yeah, but be careful with this Dortmund side. This is a Dortmund side who progressed from the group of death, like of any four deep, really, really, really good sides. Many times with huge luck. Many times. Uh, then ride it. Luck. Then ride like, it. Like you said against PSV, like you yeah. said against PSV, like. They had one opportunity, they scored once, and PSV battered them all all game long. And yeah. they they came, hey, we won. I know. But <laughs> I, I, we last won. week. Okay, so that's in Champions League. Then last week. And last uh, week, Bayern Munich, uh, three uh, expected goals. Uh, so many uh, lost uh, chances, you know. Yeah. And they scored twice, twice, twice on the road against the Bayern Munich. Keeping a clean sheet. This, this is the, this is the, fa- the first one. And who who is scoring? Rierson and Ademi. Ademi played nothing all season long, and he woke up to play here in the last ten uh, games of the season. You know. Yeah, this is one of them games where you sit, watch, enjoy, and basically have no idea how it's going to end. But but we did say that it's around plus eleven fifty for the two two draw. I mean that could be worth a couple of uh, like a bit of pizza money, and then obviously you're going to get l- enough money for loads of pizzas. Let's have a little look at the official pick though, because Stuttgart a plus zero point two five at minus one one five. If it's a draw, then Alex gets half his wages, uh, and if it's going to be a draw, I think they're going to need to score twice. Uh, over one point five is at minus one zero. I had to run a mile from this game just because Dortmund are in Champions League. Dortmund are coming off of performances and results or results that don't reflect their performance. It's unbelievable. They play bad. They win 2-0. They play really well. They get beat 2-1. It's just uh, complete craziness, as has Bundesliga been all season. Let's go to it. <laughs>